morning year eight. I hope we're all having a really good week so far. Um, I just wanted to say well done to those who really took on board my assembly a few weeks ago. Um, most of you are doing really, really well on the corridors. Um, lining up and coming in from lunchtime. A few of you, I think, still need to work on that, you know, who you are, um, to drop the silliness and things like that. But apart from that, we're doing really, really well, so well done. Um, a few stars of the week this week. So Darcy Law, well done for always being on time and fully equipped and always sharing in PSHE. Bryson Stewart for always being on time. Um, and being really sensible during the fire alarm, well done. Evie Moss for being consistently well equipped, hard working and taking everything in year eight and so far in her stride, so well done. Grace Jones for consistently working hard in PSHE, brilliant. Noria for always contributing in PSHE, really well done. Daniel Barlow for always being on time and well equipped and Will Lindley for, always, for having a great week this week so far. So well done, every, all of the stars of the week. Um, make sure you get your certificate. Um, get your form teachers to come and get them off me um, in the head of year office and take that home. So see you later and have a fantastic week. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome to our first LGBTQ plus assembly. So I'm going to be the LGBTQ plus ambassador for our school and what that means is that I want to raise awareness of it throughout um, this year. So first of all I just want you to have a think about what LGBTQ plus actually means and now I'm going to take you back to the history. So if we go back to 2003 this assembly would actually be against the law and we wouldn't be able to hold it within school. So if you just have a think about that for a moment about how important it is that things have actually changed. So this is where we was up to in 2019. We have LGBT. So now we have got a Q and a plus on the end of that. So that means that we are not labeling anyone or anything. You can be whatever you want to be. And that is absolutely fine. So LGBT History Month, it began in 2005 to allow us to learn about LGBT in in schools and the government passed pieces of legislation called section 28 and this was an absolutely like monumentous piece of history for us all um, it was to promote homosexuality behaviors and lifestyles in the in the law basically so that people would um, be allowed to walk around and hold hands same sex um, and obviously people would then be able to have trans operations and be whatever they wanted to be. So let's move on. So when I was in school, there was no out pupils, there was no out staff, there was no relationship, educational talks about homosexuality. Everyone was what they was. So can you imagine a world where when I was in school, everyone was the same. We didn't, we wasn't allowed to like express our feelings or anything like that. How do you think that made people who were struggling with their sexuality feel? Then, like I said, in 2003, we had the section 28. So that meant that we could talk openly about these different things but it obviously took two years to get that piece of legislation passed so that is a very long time that we um waited for that to to come so there is a bit of a news round for you to watch during farm um, it is really really interesting so i will just skip through this is Alan Turning. He is a very educated, very, a very well-educated man. Um, and he completed a PhD in maths. He was very, very, very clever. And he was um, trans. So he was wanting to change from being a man into being a lady and during his time he couldn't he felt like he couldn't be what he wanted to be um because of 
everything that was going on and it wasn't accepted back then in the day. So there's just some information for you to quickly read through on the history of it. And then we come to this. So when turning reports, the theft to the police, Turning was actually arrested. So he rang the police for some help. However, he was the one who ended up being arrested because Turning was identified as a theft. But it wasn't that he was a thief. It was because someone didn't agree with his sexuality and they reported him as, as being a thief instead of the other way around. So we've obviously got to think how far we have come in all of this because this wouldn't be accepted these days. You, you are allowed to be who, who you want to be. So Al, Alan Turning's favourite um, fairy tale was Snow White. So obviously he died and there was a half-eaten apple left next to his bed. The post-mortem showed that he'd died of poisoning. It took 59 years for a conviction. So in 2003, he received a pardon. In 2013, sorry, he received a pardon from the Queen meaning that the offence for which he was convicted was wiped from his record. So bearing in mind this happened all the way in the 90s and in 2013 this verdict got overruled and now he has a statue. In Manchester between the university and the cities of the gay village. So if you ever see this statue you will know that this is Alan Turnings and he is a historical LGBTQ plus ambassador. And there he is. So in the nine, obviously you can see there in the nineties, he was accused of theft. And in 2013, many, many years after he had died, he was relieved of that. So I'm quickly going to skip through some of these. So as you can see, um, in World War II, the homosexuals, including LGBT plus people, were forced to wear pink triangles. Now, in our days, like we cannot force you to wear anything that you don't want to wear, but that's just what happened back in the old days. Um, people were made to stand out, people were made to be different if they were different, but now it's okay to be whoever you want to be at any, at any time. Some people in the olden days would say that homosexuality was a choice and they just didn't agree with it and they didn't understand how it worked. So why would people choose to be something that is perceived as different? They just didn't get their head around it and they would say that it's not okay to be different. Where now it is actually okay to be different. However, we've still got a fight on our hands as there still are eight different countries in the world that if you wanted to be LGBT, you could still get a death sentence for parading around the streets as LGBT. So something to, to bear in mind. So this is just another like piece of legislation. The assistant head teacher was threatened in LGBT teaching row. If you need support, this school provides it. You don't have to go through it alone. Speak to any member of staff that you want to speak to, or especially come and find me. Um, there's ways, there's means, there's anything like there's lots and lots of support networks out there for every single person no matter how individual you are or how different you are please 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 just remember that 
Hope you enjoyed this assembly on LGBTQ+. And if you have any questions, like I said, please come and find me. Hello, BTV viewers. How are you all? I hope you're keeping well. Um, it's a bit strange actually to be in front of the camera again. It was pretty normal during lockdown and this is my fourth time starting this video to try and get it right, but I'm just going to keep going with it this time. First of all, it's um, good to have the chance to talk to everyone again. Uh, we are officially over halfway through the half term, one of the strangest and most challenging half terms in some ways for us, but actually one of the best, honestly to see how everyone has responded so positively, both pupils and staff alike across the school. It's just been an absolute pleasure to be in. To be in. So many people getting involved in Google Classroom regularly, so many subjects leaving everything on their um, Google Classrooms for you to follow up at home. And it's just a brilliant way of learning. We're actually gonna benefit an awful lot from this as well. So some key messages just from the different subjects coming out. And the first one's from maths directly at year 11 and you are definitely um, high priority, really important, but really motivated at the moment. From maths, they want you to know that your revision lists for your PPE will soon be in your Google Classroom. So important that you guys are using those, keep an eye out for them. I'll say the same thing from English. Um, I'll start by saying it is absolutely brilliant to see so many people on the corridors for the extended day on Tuesdays. Please make sure we're getting more and more. You, We have a, a lot of teachers down there who are really happy to put in the extra hours to help you guys out. It's gathering momentum. We've only got four weeks or so until the PPEs. And I just wanted to make clear to you exactly what you're going to have on that. Year 11, you're going to do an English language paper one. Okay, questions one to five. And you're going to do a literature paper based on Macbeth, so one question on Macbeth and one question on poetry. And that's your English. We're not doing English language paper two. Your teachers will share all of this with you again, but be aware of it. Okay, also from English, uh, year sevens, get in touch with Miss Brailsford about the Young Writers and Speakers Club. And also keep an eye out at Key Stage 3 for the National Poetry Day activities, which we'll be going through this week, a week late, admittedly, but we're going to be just giving you the chance to look at some poetry and to take a break from the curriculum activities we've been doing. Okay, science have said uh, again, year 11, big improvement on extended day. They still want more to attend next week or this week coming 2.30 to half three. So get yourselves down. Well done to those who have already filled in their science reward cards, that new strategy being used by science, which is brilliant. Uh, the first raffle will take place next Thursday, the 8th of October. So keep an eye on the Buell Hill Science Instagram to see the winner. Get onto all your subject Instagrams, okay? They're still going strong um, and plenty of updates on them. Again, this time from Geography, just a well done to the year 11s who were there for the extended day. Looking forward to having another good turnout this week. And I'm going down quickly now to PE. Key stage three homework from PE is set in your Google Classroom. So you have two weeks to click complete this work. Year seven, it's warm up and cool down. Year eight, principles of training. Year nine, performance enhancing drugs, what they are, why sports performers might have taken them and why they're a negative factor when participating in sports. And I am going through my list. Here's a good one for you. House points total so far. Serena, 1,648. Bolt, 1,701. Jordan, 1,735. And what looks to me to be the winners at the moment, Adlington with 1,753. So get going. Well done, Adlington. Well done, everyone else. But keep getting those rewards. And if it means reminding your teachers, then do it. Okay, um, ask your teachers, check their added to Sims with your parents on the parent app. So have those conversations. And this week in form, form your form choose will be collecting in your house points so far so that you know how many you have. Okay, our favorite bit. This time it's BTV Stars of the Week. Lewis Burgess in maths, good lad, for making fantastic progress with grade seven plus algebra. Amber Jackson and Charlie Malloy for their hard work in class and independent learning at home, completing homework. Well done, guys. Moving on to um, English, it's Janu Falana. Excellent effort, and that was nominated by Miss Duval. So well done, Janu. Really good to see your name coming up there. Uh, science is Jordan McGowan, persistently reaching high targets set for him by Miss Hall. 
and other nominations will be put on Instagram there for science. And it's history next with a year seven, Helena Chastek for excellent contributions in class. So well done, Helena. And geography is fantastic effort to all year 11 geography students who put in huge amounts of effort into their first exam. And Chloe Kelly in year eight for fantastic contributions and questioning and lessons. Zach Asprey, good lad, Zach, year 10 for always trying his best in the lessons. So keep that going with the positive work. Next is Spanish, muy bien, year nine, fantastic work, Emily Hatcher, outstanding work all year and fantastic, fantastic home learning throughout the lockdown. Miss Smith really enjoyed reading all of the work she handed in the other day. Okay, well done. And Rawa uh, in year nine, a brilliant start to year nine, Von der, Vo der Vosen, I think, but well done Rawa, uh, some really good work coming out of you and drama is a drama it is nina bell well done nina good to see your name there excellent fantastic drama assessment you've put down or has been put down for you so well done nina now sports studies i think is the next one it's pe in fact boys corey prescott allison for his brilliant start to the term and the enthusiasm and effort he has shown on javelin and the triple jump this week Girls, Ayamide Akamutimimi uh, for her excellent effort in her triple jump lesson and for demonstrating the skills to the group. So well done, Ayamide. And moving down, I've got Rachel Southern in year 10, leisure, tour, leisure and tourism in this one. Excellent focus and determination. And a fellow whose name is coming up an awful lot this year, and I'm going to call you out, Dan Bolton. This is for leisure and tourism. No, yes, it is. Um, but just fantastic and enticing advertisement, it says, um, for the write-up that you did on that. Well done, Dan. Dan. Some seriously positive stuff being said about you around school at the moment. Uh, next in the LSU is Cody Young, just getting into all the mainstream lessons, showing the maturity, the responsibility and the ability to be in the lessons throughout the week. So well done, Cody. Great to see and great to hear. And this is Sports Studies and it's Terrell Defoe. Brilliant work, brilliant start to the coursework has been put down there. And Health and Social Care is Daisy Downs for being so hard working. You're a star. Apparently, Daisy, well done, glad to hear it. And ICT is Hector Marquis, uh, amazing effort and attitudes in computing. So well done, Hector. And I think that brings me to the end of my list. It does. A lot of names, a lot of really positive stories there and brilliant effort across, effort across the school. Um, and I'll finish up on that positive note. We have had an unusual start. We're over halfway through the half term. You guys will work hard to the end, but I know you'll get a well-deserved break as well. So let's start uh, Monday. Let's start this week with another positive focus and keep going strong. Okay, well done, Buell. Well done, BTV viewers. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.